75 years ago, at the Lexington Hotel in New York City, the James Ewing Society was launched by a handful of alumni from Memorial Hospital. They named it after James Ewing, a pathologist and the clinical director at Memorial Hospital in recognition of his considerable fame. The next year, the second meeting was held with the uh, American Radium Society, and that would be in 1941. Subsequent annual meetings, interrupted by the war, grew slowly over the years and provided the opportunity for Memorial Hospital surgical alumni to gather and exchange scientific ideas. In 1975, a momentous decision was made by the leadership of the James Ewing Society. The Society was renamed as the Society of Surgical Oncology and a major strategy was launched to make the SSO the primary organization for surgical oncologists from across America to join and participate. The 1990s was a time of tremendous growth for the Society of Surgical Oncology. The Society's official journal, the Annals of Surgical Oncology, was launched. The annual meeting grew in scale and attendance. Corporate sponsorship was introduced, and the SSO implemented a mechanism for oversight and approval of surgical oncology training programs. After the turn of the century, the SSO expanded its activities to approve and oversee breast oncology training programs and international partnerships emerged to make it a truly global society. Indeed, a historical event occurred in 2010 when the American Board of Surgery approved a board certification for complex general surgical oncology. Numerous members of the SSO leadership were instrumental in this transition. As the society matured and took on more activities and a broader membership, it moved to self-management with its own team of staff to work with scores of volunteers to lead the organization into the future. And please remember, this is your... This is your SSO. This is your... This is your society. This is your... This is your SSO. This is your... This is your SSO. This is your... This is your Society of Surgical Oncology.